<coughs> yep. And so outliers are uh, pieces of data. Okay, shh, quiet, please. Okay, quiet, please. Outliers are pieces of data that are way above or way below everything else. And there's an actual mathematical term for it. So there's a certain amount of spread that's expected to be within a bit of data. So like if I give a test, there's expected that I'm going to have some, some kids who score better than others and some kids, some kids who score less than others. So just because I give a test and just because I have uh, most of the kids score in the 70s and just because one kid scores 100% and everybody else scored in the 70s, that kid who scored a 100% isn't necessarily an outlier. It, just because they scored higher than everybody else doesn't mean that it's weird that they scored better. An outlier is a piece of data that is weirdly higher or weirdly lower than everything else. And there's a mathematical way to tell if something is an outlier. So let's say that we have all of these mall Santas and we're gonna take a look at their weights, okay? So we have um, these different mall Santas and let's say we got one mall Santa who weighs uh, 250 pounds, another mall Santa weighs 230, we got another mall Santa who weighs 280. We got another mall Santa who weighs 290. We got a mall Santa who weighs 200. Well, they're Santas, man. They're, they're supposed to. They're supposed to be big guys. We got another mall Santa. We got another mall Santa who weighs 300. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got a, a relatively trim mall Santa who weighs 190. We got a mall Santa who weighs 140. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we got another mall Santa who weighs uh, three ten, and then another mall Santa who comes in at two thirty five. So let's say we have we're a mall and we employ ten Santas, and these are the weights of our mall Santas. Now, right away, just looking at this data, that one forty sticks out as being somebody who's super low. Okay. Also, we've got this guy who's, or it could be girl. I mean, maybe we're employing a girl mall Santa. Who knows? Um, it's 2016. It's 2016. Right, exactly. So we got this, we got this one mall Santa, shh, quiet, who's 310. Okay, quiet. So we've got these two Santas, one who's really low and one who's really high. So just because they're lower, though, and higher than everybody else doesn't automatically make them outliers. Outliers are pieces of data that are weirdly low or weirdly high. You automatically expect there to be some spread in any data that you have. And there's a mathematical way for us to find out if either of these two are what are called outliers. And they might not be. So how we're going to find out if they're outliers is first we're going to make our five number summary, just like what we were doing on everything yesterday. So for our five number summary, first thing we gotta do is organize the data from smallest to largest. So which of these numbers is smallest? 140. 140. So 140 is the smallest, and I'm gonna mark that so that I know that I've already used it and I don't use it again. What's the next smallest? 190. Okay, I'm gonna mark that too so I know that I've already used it. Uh, what comes next after 190? 200. 200. Okay. Next after 200? 230. 230. Okay. Next after 230? 235. 235. Next after that? 250, right? And if I make a mistake here, please feel free to tell me, but do it in a, a nice way. So 250, and then it looks like we make a jump up to 280, am I right? So we make a jump up to 280. And then it looks like we make a jump up to 290. And then 300 and 310. Okay. 300 and then 310. So I organized the data. That's my first step. Now I'm going to make my five number summary. So one, two, three, four, five. And two of these five numbers are easier than the rest. So the smallest number is what? 140. And what's the largest number? 310. So those two numbers are easier than the rest. Now, to find the median number, I'm going to count towards the middle. So 140, 310, 190, 300, 
200, 290, 230, 280, and then I have two numbers in the middle, 235 and 250. So I'm gonna add those two together to get 485, right? And then I'm gonna divide 485 by two. So 485 divided by two. Two goes into four two times, two goes into eight four times. So two, zero, eight, four, zero. And then I drop down the five. Two goes into five how many times? Two times, so four. And then I'm gonna drop down a one, point zero. And then uh, drop down zero. Two goes into 10 how many times? Five times. So 242.5, so that's my median. <coughs> and it was in between 235 and 250. So now I'm gonna find the median of the lower and the median of the upper, right? So the median of the lower, so I'm gonna discount all of the, low, all of the high numbers. And so 140, 235, 190, 230. And the median of the lower is what? 200. And I'm going to discount all the lower numbers and the median of the upper. So 310, 250, 300, 280, and the median of the upper is 90, or 290, sorry. Cool. All right, so, so far it's exactly what we did yesterday. Now I'm not going to use this to make a box and whisker plot. Instead, what I'm going to do from this in order to find out an outlier is I'm going to find something called the interquartile range. Inter quartile range. And uh, this in math is abbreviated as IQR. The interquartile range. We're not super creative, no. Nope. We didn't name it after anybody's girlfriend or anything like that. So, oh, Felicia. No, nope, we didn't call it Felicia. So IQR. So the interquartile range is Q3 which is, in this case, 290, so 290 minus Q1, which in this case is 200. So the interquartile range, in this case, is how much? 90. Q3 minus Q1, which in this case is 90. And that's what the IQR, or the interquartile range is. Now, what we're gonna use the interquartile range for is to test to see if either the 140, the super skinny Santa, or the 310, the really, really big Santa, we're gonna test to see if either of those are weirdly skinny or weirdly fat, or if they're normal, okay? Um. Hey, your opinion doesn't matter. We're using math here. We're not using opinions. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 1.5 times the IQR and we're gonna get a new number. So 1.5 times 90. So 1.5 times 90 is, in this case, 135. Now, I did that in my head. You can use a robot buddy, that's fine. Now this 1.5, there, like this came from a mathematical proof that was done about 150 years ago. For now, I'm not gonna show it to you. You guys can just believe me when I say it's true. Unless you want me to show it to you. Okay. All right, so 135. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 135. We're gonna either add it to 242.5 or subtract it from 242.5. And if either of these two numbers are bigger or less than the median plus that or the median minus that, then those numbers are weirdly big or weirdly small. So I'm going to do 242.5 plus 135, and I'm going to get a test number, and I'm going to do 242.5 minus 135, and I'm going to get another test number. And for that, I cannot use my brain. I'm relatively good at math stuff, but I, I can't think of that this morning. So I'm going to use my robot buddy here. So I'm going to do 242.5 plus 135. 
and I get 377.50.50, and I do 242.5 minus 135, and I get 107.50. Okay, so these two test numbers will tell you above what number you have somebody who's weirdly fat, and below what number you have somebody who's weirdly skinny. It's probably not PC for me to use those terms. Um, instead of fat, I should say uh, rotund, plump, uh, politically correct. And then uh, instead of saying skinny, maybe I should say um, um, uh, adipose challenged, adipose tissue challenged. And then instead of fat, maybe I should say adipose tissue gifted. Okay. So, so if you if you didn't know, fat tissue, another name for fat tissue is adipose tissue. And so I could say, like, instead of saying fat, I could say adipose tissue. So this guy who's 140 and who's playing Santa, is he less than 107 pounds? No. No, he's not. Or she. This person, we don't know. Right, exactly. Let's not be sexist. It's 2016. This person who weighs 140 pounds is not less than 107 pounds. So even though they're pretty skinny for a Santa, they're not weirdly skinny according to math. Stop that. Tyler, sit up. So even though they're really skinny for a Santa Claus, they're not weirdly skinny according to math. They're not an outlier. And even though this person who weighs 310 pounds and is a Santa, even though they're pretty big, according to math, they're not above 377.5. They're not weirdly large for a Santa. So neither of these two people are outliers, according to math. So you might have your own opinion, and that's fine, you can have an opinion, but according to math, according to numbers, neither this person nor that person are, are weird for Santas. They might be weird for other reasons, but they're not weird because of their weight. What, Keith? So I could be a Santa. Sure. I could be a Santa. According to math, according to math, and according to these statistics I just made up off the top of my head, yes, you could be a Santa. According to the statistics I made up, sure. Why not? I couldn't be a Santa. It's 2016. It's 2016. Why not? I couldn't be a Santa. All right. You're right. All right let's, let, let, let's wake up here, guys. All right, so I'm not going to give you guys a new assignment today. Instead, um,